my name is Robin. I'm going to put this aside so I don't look like too big of a fool. I would like you to know that tonight I did bring my A game. These are my best jokes. I did bring my big butt. I left my small butt at home. And I did bring my good pair of yellow laced sneakers. Just for you. So just in case it doesn't go well though, in case this isn't too funny, I hope you guys do laugh because if not, you might be reading about me in the paper tomorrow. I'd be on the news, but at least you guys can say, hey, I knew that dude before he was famous. You know what I'm saying. So I live up in Heritage Hill, in like a hundred year old house. And the scariest thing about living up there, is that it's not the ghosts, it's not the bats, not stuff like that. It's not the uh, unregistered sex offender living across the hall with uh, three great grand nephew cousins, he calls them. Real well behaved kids, very quiet. Um, nor is it the toothless witch that lives upstairs that you can sometimes find eating dog shit sandwiches in the corner near the laundry room and you're folding underwear, it's very weird. Now the scariest thing about my house is that I have to take a shit sometimes when there's company. And due to some recent renovations, my toilet's like five feet away from like ninety percent of the house. And fuck man, I think you can probably smell that stuff out there sometimes, depending on how many times the uh, Asian food buffet I ate at last night was squeezed on during the day. But, um, so can I, uh, not, the, not like the shit jokes. Alright, <laughs> talk about them. So, we got to see those shirts that are like, very proud, you know, there's maybe a golden American eagle on there flying and has like baby Jesus in one claw and like Uncle Sam in the other. It's like proud to be an American with stars and stripes forever. And then the shirt might say, these colors don't run, right? And I would say, no shit, they don't run. They don't even walk quickly back to the couch after raiding the pantry for all the Swiss rolls and little Debbie snacks. <laughs> and they're, no, they don't run, nor do they walk. Nor do they do push-ups, nor sit-ups, nor probably read too terribly much, but praise white Jesus. Proud to be in America, proud to be in America. So, respectful or reprehensible? My ex-girlfriend left a pair of her panties at my house, and I've only tried them on once, and I have not shoved them down my throat yet today. Okay. So, how come is it so tough sometimes for me to uh, call my girlfriend on the phone? You know, it seems so intimate and maybe intrusive, you know? It's so weird, because uh, five out of seven nights out of the week, I have my tongue pretty far in her asshole. And there's nothing strange about that. No? No, I'm sharing my toothbrush. Okay. So I had a list of some stuff that uh, was going to be jokes. Let's see, okay, it didn't quite make it. Let's see. Sarah's small mouth and kidnapping. Aquamarine, question mark. Uh, pubic hair length when you go to have sex with someone for the first time. Oh, wait, that's my to-do list for this week. Okay, thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of the night. It was really fun. Really, really nice.